Police found about 50 animals in a home described as unsanitary. A child also living under that same roof. A couple in Dinsmore faces charges for child neglect and cruelty to animals. They've already posted bail. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel joining us live outside the animal care and control. It's in Riverside. She's going to tell us what officers found inside the house and why the investigation spanned a number of months. Corley? The arrest report shows that animal control began conducting a compliance investigation back in February. The couple was able to get that compliance by the end of that month. But this month, animal control began investigating again after they received complaints. And once they issued a warrant, they found the home was hazardous for humans and animals. This Dinsmore home on Junia Road is where police arrested a couple for animal cruelty and child neglect last week. Neighbors like Mary Block were shocked. I think that's awful. In this day and time, I don't think that anybody should be like that, and I don't think that that's right. According to the arrest report, Samantha and Christopher Skelton told police they had approximately 50 animals at the house. Samantha Skelton then advised officers that only four dogs and 25 cats lived inside the house. According to the arrest report, officers had to wear utility masks because the smell of ammonia was so strong. They also said that there was so much feces and trash throughout the home that they couldn't walk anywhere without stepping in it. The report also shows the couple had a child who was also living in the unsanitary conditions. My prayers go out to that child, especially. According to the report, the skeletons are no longer in jail. I was unable to knock on their door for comment because of their no trespassing signs on their fence. I reached out to the city to find out where the animals were taken after they were removed from the home. However, they say they can't comment at this time, considering it's still an active investigation. Reporting live from Riverside, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.